Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, I give away the demo card, so if you're a first time subscriber, put your email in the comments and I'll email you back and let you know if you won the card. Also, make sure you watch the video all the way through because you never know, I might give the card away to anyone or I might do, be doing card kits or swaps or something. So anyway, now let's go make a card. So today's card, we are doing the paper pumpkin and this is the June Expressions in color. And I bought a bunch of these because I'm gonna do a card class on it and this one's going to be really pretty so um here is a little flyer on it and it's um it's really featuring the new um expressions and ink ds paper that's really pretty so let's dig into it so we're gonna get an evening evergreen and a bumblebee and then here's the stamps it says you are amazing there's a like a cluster thing oh a flower thanks uh, for everything congratulations sending hugs you are amazing and some little flower stuff and then let's look in the tissue so i'm now taking off the plastic here and these are the uh cards we're going to make and wow these are really pretty this is why i ordered this kit i bought, ordered a bunch of them and i'm going to do a card class i think so you get some uh string and some doodads and dimensionals here's the envelopes and the envelopes are just plain looks like you get note cards and regular cards and then here's some really nice vellum pieces you have your white with like little leaves on it here's some itty bitty tags uh, here's some background pieces and here the card fronts look we've got this one here which is really pretty oh we've got some die cuts some uh leaves and stuff and then here's these must be the note cards and some more tags and here's some more um, card fronts and then we've got these vellum pieces that say oh so you get your um german i'm uh, french and english so thanks and those three languages and some flowers so you can use um this for other languages so Here's the instructions, and they did change it recently. They made them a lot more clear, clearer to follow. And then they have a few alternatives on the back. So I'm gonna make their cards first, and then I'm gonna do my alternative. So I'll be back. So I'm back. Uh, I went ahead and I made their cards. Now, the instructions on these, they just changed them. They're fantastic. They're, they're gonna tell you where to put all the little glue dot things, um, how to stamp, which blocks to use. I mean, it's really quite nice. And here's the first one, and it's really pretty, and they never do the inside, so I don't know why. Um, but let me give you some pointers on this particular card. They tell you to cut 26 inches of the string, and I, I thought it was a little tight, so I redid it, and I cut about another four inches off. So I would do like 30, because you're wrapping around that string twice, so I would go ahead and, and make it a little longer. So this one was really pretty. And then the second one is the green one here. And like I said, they give you all the instructions. Um, I'll give you a tip on this one. They tell you to use uh, the dimensionals that come with the kit. And they're just a little too big for this tag. And life is too short. On page 167 in the catalog, they sell mini dimensionals and they sell them in the white and the black and they're fantastic. So life's too short, use the mini dimensionals on that one. So that's really pretty. And then the last one is this one here and here's all the instruction and this was pretty as well. So um, another thing I wanna give a tip on, uh, go ahead when you get your kit, you know, of course separate everything out and put everything on a block and then take the little, um, acetate piece that the the stamps were on and um, put it onto a white piece of paper just kind of glue dotted on there so you can see all your options because I'm going to go ahead and make my alternatives so um, I'm going to do that and I'll be back back so here are the paper pumpkin cards as they have suggested in the kit now for my alternatives so here's my first one and <laughs> what I've done here is I've 
few different things. First of all, I stamped with the flower stamp all the, the flowers on a piece of shimmery white. Shimmery white is always better to use when you're blending and we're gonna blend here. So I stamped all the flowers and then I took a piece of regular uh, copy paper and I stamped the flowers again and I fussy cutted them because I'm going to mask. And when you are masking, you don't want to use paper that's any good. You want it thin because if you use like Stampin' Up! paper or anything of quality, if you colored around it, you're gonna get a halo. So I went ahead and I uh, fussy cut out all the flowers from the copy paper. And I took this green, I know the rest of it is pink, but it's really this green Tombow, which is the most horrible tape, but it's awesome for masking. So I applied the mask with this tape. And then what I also did is I took the negative from the, the leaves and I made a stencil out of it. So I went over the flowers while the mask is still on and I took a, a blending brush and I stenciled that in the soft succulent. So I went ahead and I did that. And then I took some, believe it or not, some balmy blue while the stencils were, the masks were still on and I took my blending brush again and did the background over the leaves. And when I did that, of course, it kind of turned the rest of it green, but that's okay. And then after that, I took off the mass and I took the Stampin' Rights. And what the big difference between the Stampin' Rights and the blending pens is that they're a lot thinner. And I really went into like, especially the magenta. This is magenta daffodil delay the soft succ succulent and the evening evergreen on the leaves. But when I did the flowers, I used that magenta Stampin', Stampin right and really got into the flower there. Then I finished it up with the 2021-23 in color jewels, the matte dots. And first of all, from the kit, I used the sentiment stamps. I used the sentiment tag. I used the flower stamp and I used the stencil, the negative um, from the leaves. And then on the inside, because I always do my inside, this is basic white. I used the stamp they give you in the kit, which is evening evergreen. And I stamped all, all these uh, embellishments here. So, the, and these are all from the kit. So this is card number one. Here's card number two. And it's that small uh, evening evergreen card that was in the kit. And um, not only did I use that base, I used the leaves from the kit. I also used the sentiment and uh, the sentiment tag. And of course the flower in the middle here, but the rest of it, and of course the, uh, the evening evergreen stuff succulent background as well. So what I did is I took that background and put it on the top because that looks of course really pretty together and then put on the leaves. Now these shapes right here is from layering diorama and I put them down both down on dimensional. So it's dimensional and then dimensional and the flower, I colored that in dark, rich razzleberry. And then the leaves are light and dark mint macaroon. And the middle is so saffron. And these little guys here, these are these bumblebee trinkets that are just killer when, and they go out of stock a lot. So if you find them in stock, grab like two or three of them. And by the way, all of my information is in the description of my video. You can um, pull it down and place an order with me directly. So that would be pretty awesome. And then of course, these little uh, gems here are the 20, 21, 23 in color gems. And then when you open it up, I use that diorama again. That's the sentiment. This is soft succulent and this is evening evergreen. So this is card number two. The third card, and there are eight cards. This is, this is really great. So what I've got here from the kit is I use the base. I used the string. I used, believe it or not, under these gilded gems is that clear little embellishment that came with the kit. Of course, the ink and the sentiments. So, but the other Stampin' Up! supplies are, of course, the stamp is from Biggest Wish. The die is the third smallest stitched so sweetly. Like I said before, these are the gilded gems that are on, on top of the little embellishment that came in the kit. 
and then I put one over the bow here. I also made a double bow here. That was pretty cool. And then these are all up on the dimensionals. And this paper is from Expressions and in Ink. And then you open up and I've caught uh, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Bumblebee. And I used the stamps from the kit and the sentiment. So this is card number three. The fourth card is actually pretty simple, but it was kind of cool. So I did a couple of little tricks. First of all, I used from the kit, the watercolor background that came with it, the thanks, the sentiment, the leaves, and the ink. Now with the base, I've got just the bumblebee, and then I've got evening evergreen, and then bumblebee. And then up on dimensionals, I've got that watercolor piece that came with the kit. And then this right here, I took two layered stitched frames, the rectangle stitch frames, and made this negative frame here and put it on top. And it just happened to be the right size. I got really lucky. And I put on the gilded gems. But also, if you look at this thanks, that's the vellum. And what I did is I took the Stampin' Write pen again in the Evening Evergreen, and I just did the outside of it. And then I took a Kleenex and I rubbed it off, and it kind of made the whole thing really cool. So that was a, a cute little trick. And then on the inside, of course, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Bumblebee, the Sentiment, and I put the leaves inside here. So this is card number four. Card number five turned out really cool. I kind of, I really like it. The This stamp set that I'm using here, I haven't done a video on, and it is card number six. It's super pretty. It almost made the top of the list, but there are two more cards that are actually better. So anyway, this is what I used. Um, the kit came with the base. So I've got the base, I've got the flower, the tag, the sentiments, and the ink. Now, what I didn't use from the kit is what I did is I took a piece of Evening Evergreen and I put that down first and then I used Expressions in Ink and I cut that down to fit. And then I took that vellum flower piece from the kit and I have a brother scan and cut. And these things are great because what I did is I took that piece and I scanned it. And then I took it off and then I put a piece of gold foil down and I took the image that it scanned and made it just a little bigger. Now you can do the same thing if you want a fussy cut, but I, I personally kind of stink at it. So the brother scan and cut is awesome. I have a couple of videos if you go back into my library about how to use the brother scan and cut. So just go through my stuff. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you click the little bell, you'll be notified when my videos release. And like I said, I'm going on vacation soon and I might do this one or the ones coming up in another video because I just, I need to get some videos going and these would be easy to do. So I made this a little bit bigger. I put it up on dimensionals. Then I took their tag, of course, and their sentiment. And I love the bumblebee trinkets, believe me. There are so many flowers and Stampin' Up you're gonna use these like crazy and they go out of stock a lot. So uh, when they're in stock, grab them. I also took the little embellishment from the kit and I put it down and I put that uh, gilded gem on top like I did in another card. And then on the inside, I used the scallop contours. Like I said, I've been using that one like crazy. Um, Magenta Madness and their stamp again. So this is card number six. Card number seven, boy, card number seven and card number eight were really close on the ones I like the most. But card number seven, what I'm using from the kit is the small green card. That's this one right here, the vellum flower, the sentiments and the tags. But what I'm doing here is this is a fun fold. So yay. <laughs> anyway, so this opens like that. Isn't that cool? So. There's a couple of things that I did here. Of course, I took a regular size card, just cut off a portion of it to make this flap. And then I use pear pizzazz and expressions and in ink. And this is also expressions and in ink. And so was this all uh, lined with that pear pizzazz. But what I also did is I took the vellum flower and I turned it over and I took sponges. Now I know they took the sponges out of the catalog. I don't know why, but I took sponges and I took two different kinds of ink. I used a pale papaya and the pumpkin pie and I colored the back side of this vellum. 
and then I took the pear pizzazz and the soft succulent and I did the leaves. Now the back side of this really looks like hell, but the the front looks beautiful. So this kind of worked out and I didn't have to use like um, any markers or anything. So it's all just sponging. And I took a little tray like this and I took the refills and I put little dabs of ink in the little circles here and I used a sponge. I flipped over the vellum and I just colored the back and it turned out really great and it's fast and most coloring take some time and that was really quick and then i put some pear pizzazz over that little green card they give you in the kit um bumped up the sentiment on some dimensionals took the gilded gems made some embellishments here now one little thing that you need to be careful of if you make a card like this don't hang anything off the edge because when you open this it would bend so just make sure that's clear of this edge here and then i just uh put this on inside so this one it is really cute so this is card number seven here's card number eight now i'll show you in a minute why it's so cool but let me tell you what i used from the kit i used this watercolor base card i used the uh leaves i used the sentiment and i used that vellum piece with the leaves on it here so what i did different is i used these round and square brads right and i took one of those dies from tailor made tags and i made a tag and so here's the base it's basic black and it's just a five and a half by four and a quarter and i took that tag and i stamped it i also put on the leaves from the kit and when i did this i also took the basic border dies and folded it up and I'm going to I'm going to probably do a video on this one so you know hit that like subscribe and the little bell and you'll see a video coming up on how I did this so what I did is I made this a little opening like this here are those tailor made tags I cut it on the vellum piece and of course the base that came with it and I just kind of offset it on the black a little bit. This stays down, but this opens up. And guess what? When I cut this purple watercolor base, when the one from the kit, I took that piece of purple that I came with, the backside, and I stuck it in here. I also made a little border here from this vellum, and I put this inside here. And then, of course, the tailor make tags for the sentiment as well. So this one was cool. And, of course, the matte black dots and that crazy awesome bumblebee. So this one, this one was really cool. So, and then this goes back over like so. And this is card number eight. So these are all my card alternatives. And please, like I said, if you are a first time subscriber, even though I'm not giving away one of these demo cards, I will give away a mystery demo card. So if you uh, put in my comments there that you love to win a mystery demo card, you gotta leave your email address. If you don't, I'm just thinking that uh, you don't want a card. But I need to get your email address so I can uh, talk to you and get your mailing address. Or you can email me at noreen at joyofcards.com and say you liked my video and I'll send you out a mystery card. So, But that'll do it for me. Thanks. Bye.